Ah, but ah, but ah, but ah, but ah. So we're still doing the 20 Madden 20 franchise mode series with the Titans. We're in like year eight of that one. Um, but I'm going to do another one. It's going to be like a rebuild. My Miami Dolphins one got corrupted. I, could, I, I had a good one going with that one. So we are going to figure out what we're going to do. There was... I downloaded the latest roster. Let's mess with it and see what we can figure out here. Really? Import active roster. Do I do that one? I don't know. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. We're going to, um, I'm trying to figure out who I want to get. I don't want to get the Dolphins because that's what everybody does. Um, I want to take a team. I need, I don't know if I want to do it on All Pro or All Madden. Um, but let's see if we can figure something out. I do. I'm gonna do this one in addition to the. I mean, the Titans one's still there. It's not any going anywhere. But I want to do something else, like a rebuild stuff, um, just by myself, because I can play it whenever I want. Um, I may go with an NFC team. Let's see. Everybody does the Giants too. Let's see, Bears, when I'm saying rebuild, a lot of the teams are pretty, I mean, all the teams are pretty somewhat solid, you know, they're all like high, low 80s, you know, everybody on here, the shittiest NFC team is the Giants, and the shittiest AFC team, I could do the Lions, man, you know, I had one with the Lions earlier in the year when the Madden, when I first got the game. We could do Detroit. The Giants are just so bad, bro. Um, the thing about the Giants is their defense is pretty terrible. They've got good weapons on offense. They just their defense is terrible. Uh, look how terrible Miami is, bro. It's crazy. Cardinals, they're 77. Um, let's go back before I do this. Let's go look at the rosters. Let's go look at the rosters and let's see what we can figure out. So obviously we're not doing the Titans. Vikings, we could do the Vikings. They got Kirk Cousins, which is, and look at their backup quarterback. Holy shit. Kirk Cousins is an 82. I could do the Vikings, man. That'd be cool. They got Dalvin Cook, who's a beast, man. He's a 91 OVR at his third year. Um, and, you know, on top of him, they, you know, Alexander Madison's a rookie at 73. Amir Abdullah is solid. I mean, their ratings aren't that high, but they're, they're solid, like, fill ins. CJ Ham is fullback. Look at the receivers, though, bro. Let me go back. Um, Bears. I, uh, I don't know if I want the Bears. Bengals. They're terrible. They got mixing, though. I don't want to get mixing again. The Bills. The Bills' highest players trade Davius White, who's an 88. Clearly, defense is their strong suit. I mean, look, 88, 88, 85, 83. Their highest ranked offensive player is only an 83, guys. Josh Allen. I mean, you could build with Josh Allen. Their running backs are Frank Gore is the, red, is the vet at 80. But you got Devin Singletary, who's a rookie and already the same rating. You got TJ Eldon. That's something you could think about. You could think about the, the Bills. Patrick DeMarco, fullback, uh, wide receiver. Cole Beasley, John Brown, Robert Foster. Um, they got a lot of youth. They're really young. If you look at, I mean, the tight ends, they got Lee Smith. No, not the relief pitcher. Tyler Croft. Look how many tight ends they got. What do I want? We're going to do a second uh, franchise mode series, just just me to do some rebuilds. 
Um, the Buffalo's a contender. We'll keep Buffalo in the back pocket. So Buffalo's a contender. Not so much Denver, not the Cleveland Browns. Buccaneers, you could always do the Buccaneers. I would. The first thing that I would do would be trade Jameis Winston for somebody else. Um, that would be the first move is get the fuck rid of Jameis Winston. Like, get him out of here. We, we wouldn't want him. They're solid. They got Ronald Jones and Peyton Barber at uh, halfback. Fullback. They got Mike Allstar. Just kidding. Uh, Mike Evans is one of the best receivers on this game. He's so hard to tackle. Uh, Chris Godwin's good. They got a really solid receivers. They got a good tight end. O.J. Howard. They also got Cameron Brait. So, offensively, you know, it would just be annoying to try to – I mean, I could get rid of Winston, but he just is a big black eye on their whole team. Well, I was going to say, the thing about Miami, bro, is everybody does Miami. You know what I'm saying? I could, but and the the Cardinals are, I mean, you got Kyler Murray, who's a rookie. Uh, No, hell no, no. Jameis Winston, my most hated quarterback. Kenyon Drake and David Johnson. They got Chase Edmonds. Um... Receivers, they got the vet Larry Fitzgerald. They also got Christian Kirk, Demir Bird, and Hakeem Butler and Isabella. Two rookies, of course. Hakeem Butler's injured, but um, there's youth there. They got a good tight end. They got two solid tight ends at, at Charles Clay and Max Williams, and they got some beast defensive players. Chandler Jones, who would be, he would be just like Lorenzo for me. I would be able to rack up with him. You got Patrick Peterson. You got Buda Baker. They're a solid. They're a solid squad. Um, Chargers. I can't stand Philip Rivers, so I would get rid of him. Um, first thing, if I, I don't want to do the Chargers, I've never once played with the San Diego Chargers ever on any Madden game ever, ever because Philip Rivers is on the team. But they're beast. I mean, they got Joey Bosa, they got Keenan Allen, they got Casey Hayward, they got Derwin James, um, Desmond King. They got a. They got a good defense. Chiefs, I'm not I'm definitely not getting Chiefs. They, they just won Super Bowl. Colts, I mean, you could. With Brissett, you could try to beast up Brissett. He's only a fourth-year guy. Um, halfback, they got Marlon Mack, who's young. And then they got some solid receivers. They got T.Y. Hilton, Devin Funches, Zach Paschal, Chester Rogers. I mean, they're, they're younger. And they got the beast tight end, Eric Ebron and uh, Jack Doyle. So, I mean, there's some. So far, the Bills is who I've got in my mind right now. Not the Cowboys. See, the thing about the, see, everybody uses the Dolphins, man. Even including me, I tried and it just got corrupted uh, a few months back. But they just they're they're just shit, man. They're just shit. Eagles, uh, Falcons. You could go Falcons. Shout out to Chance. Um, you got Matt Ryan. You could uh, we could go a season with Matt Ryan and then go to dra- try to draft you know a solid backup. I mean, they got Devonta Freeman. You got Ito Smith. You got Kenjin Barner. Um, and then receivers, you got Julio, who you'll have for at least three solid, three more solid years. Calvin Ridley's young. Justin Hardy. Um, the receivers are kind of – they got a beast tight end, though. They got Austin Hooper. And they got Luke Stocker. So they're solid there. Defensively, though, for the Falcons, um, they got Grady Jarrett, who's a 90. And then they got this beast of uh, Deion Jones and Keanu Neal, so they got some. They got some solid. That'd be something to consider. 49ers, no. Now here's the thing about the Giants. I could get the Giants. They're the worst team in the NFC ratings wise. You could try to run with. We could try to run with Daniel Jones, man. I mean, Eli retired, so he won't even be. I don't think they're going to update the rosters in the, on the Madden. The EA is not going to since the season's over. But Daniel Jones being a 70. Um, texting bigs we gotta play our game in the Titans series what do y'all think about the Giants would y'all be cool with doing that or would y'all rather see the Bills I mean you got Saquon Barkley who was just gonna be who would just be beast mode and then you got Wayne Gallman backing him up and Javarius Allen. So we, and then, I mean, they're receivers, bro. Golden Tate, Sterling Shepard, Darius Slayton, Cody Latimer. They're tight ends, beast Evan Ingram, and they got Rhett Ellison. Um, so far, it looks like the, the Bills will probably be 
who we run with. Um, Jets, you could do, but I just, I'm not a Sam Darnold guy, man. I just don't, I don't know. And I don't want Le'Veon Bell. Um, so the lines would be similar. Look at the lines. Jeff, look at their quarterbacks. Oh, that would be the squad right there to try to rebuild. Jesus Christ. Jeff Driscoll will be your – he's injured. So Kyle Sloter is your starting quarterback under Stafford. Um, yeah, Stafford. I've already done that. I don't want to do the lines again. Packers are too good. Panthers, Raiders, Rams, Ravens. Redskins is Ivy's team, and I, I couldn't do them – do the do that rebuild near as good as Ivy could. Saints are too good. I guess we'll go with the Bills, man. I guess we'll go with the Buffalo Bills. Let's try to uh, see if we can fuck around with this real quick for a little bit. This first episode, I figured it'd be something cool to do, man. Um, try to get a team and try to see if we can rebuild them some. I may sim some. I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. I'll start it out on all pro and see how that how that works. And then if I need to switch to all Madden, I will. I don't want it to be impossible right off the bat with a team I've never played with. I don't think I've played with the Bills. I don't think I've played with the Bills. I've done a lot of offline franchises, but I don't think I've used the Bills. So let's see what the Bills talk about. They're 81 OVR, 79 offense, 84 defense. Trey Davius White, Micah Hyde, and Jordan Poyer are their three best players in their defensive backs. So if that tells you anything about their offense. Um, league settings, we're going to go to all, we'll go all pro simulation. We're just going to enable human trades because they'll trade all kinds of different people. Salary cap, all that stuff staying on. We'll do 10 minute, we'll do 11 minute quarters. Um, tutorial pop-ups, turn them the fuck off. And it's just going to be me doing it. Uh, starting point. We gotta, we gotta change the custom coach though, baby. We gotta make Chatty Bobby. We need him to have a trade influence package because we're gonna have to do some of that. I love how Juan Blanco is there. Their go-to name. Chatty Bobby, baby. See if we can take Chatty Bobby to the top here with the bills as well we're gonna make chatty bobby i mean we're gonna be realistic and he's a big i'm a big fella so we're just gonna go with this gun we're gonna go with this one the face i mean this doesn't matter they don't the faces are so horrible i'll give you three options i'll just do the, i'll do old chatty bobby here and then we got nike casual i mean he's just nike relaxed now we're gonna make it we're gonna chatty bobby's gonna wear a suit where's he where's it at where's the suits at Where's the suits at? I ain't got no suits. I thought you could wear a suit if you wanted to. You can't? Well, shit. thought you could. Nike Modern. Oh, well. Fuck it. We'll just do that. That's fine. Offensive, we're gonna run with their playbooks, man. I'm not changing none of that. So, Chatty Bobby, let's go. We're gonna play. We're not gonna play preseason. We're gonna simulate preseason. But first thing they want to know is Lorenzo Alexander. I don't need to talk to you, bro. I know about all this. Appreciate you though. And we're gonna sim training. I know. I know that. Um, we'll just sim it. We're going to look into free agency. Before we do that, though, I want to look over um, their roster and see what we have and what we need. There you see the guys we're going to try to build. we got a Hiddens for Devin Singletary, who's going to be my running back. Ed Oliver, the defensive tackle, and then Dawson Knox, tight end. Um, we're going to try to make that. We don't even have to cut any players because um, they're already there. They're already so looking at the depth chart, obviously Josh Allen's our go-to quarterback. Matt Barkley is his backup, um, so that's what it is. 
Devin Singletary, we got it's got them starting, but then you got Frank Gore, him and Frank Gore will back go back and forth. I know Frank Gore gets injured a lot when you when I play them. We also got TJ Yeldon and Sen, Centerize Perry. I don't know how to say that. Centerese. Fullback, we got Patrick DeMarco. Receivers, you got John Brown, Cole Beasley, Robert Foster, Isaiah McKenzie, Andre Roberts, and Duke Williams. Tight ends, we got Lee Smith, Tyler Croft, and Dawson Knox. We're, we good, we're good on tight ends. Lyman, you got Deion Dawkins, left tackle, starting. Left guard, you got Quentin Spain, left tackle, or left guard at 77. Mitch Morris, 82, so we're good there. Right guard, John Feliciano, Feliciano uh, 74, not, not too great. And then Ty uh, Siki, 72. So that's kind of weak on that side. Left end, you got Trent Murphy, who's a 79. That's nice. Jerry Hughes, 82. Defensive tackles, Ed Oliver, Jordan Phillips at 81 and 75. We also got uh, we got Star Latulale, or how you said. Linebackers, this was big for me. Matt Milano, 79. Mike linebackers, you got Tremont Edmonds. Or Tremaine Edmonds and Julian Stanford at an 80 and a 63. And Lorenzo Alexander got me another Lorenzo. He's old, though. He'll probably retire. And, of course, our corners, we got Trey Davius White, who's our best corner, best player on the on our team. Levi Wallace at a 78. Taron Johnson at a 76. And Kevin Johnson at a 72. Micah Hyde's an 88. He's a beast to play against, I know. Jordan Poyer, 85. And then kicker, we got Steven Hoshka, 75. And then my punter is Corey. Bojerick, however you say that. So, let's see if there's any free A's we could go snag. Definitely not going to get Antonio Brown. I wish there was a way I could just erase them out of the league, but I can't. I don't want to – I hate that they're even on there, man. Pierre Garçon, we don't really need any offense. Uh, I mean, I guess we could use some, but um, I don't really need any of these guys. And I know if I go look for a left left or right tackle, they're not going to be anything in here. Jeremy Parnell, Jeremy Parnell is a 74, but he's 33. So Brandon Fusco, John Sullivan. See, there's just nothing happening there. Not really any line, um, and I'm good on everything else. The yeah, AB is trash, man. Um. We're just going to we'll sim through each week of preseason and kind of just see what we're working with here. Got a mentorship, which is, this always happens. Uh, Cody Four, we need you to – well, he may need to teach you how to block. You're 72 there, bud. Who are you mentoring? You want to finesse mentor him? Okay. Whatever, man. Coaches, I mean, I'm not trying to make him pretty for y'all. He's an old man. I mean, I think all men are ugly, so I mean, it doesn't matter to me. Um, upgrade some players. Who we got to work? Trey Davies is going to get to move up even more. Uh, we'll move up the slot. He's 89 OVR. Uh, let's see. Already got an injury, guys. That's already that's a great start. Look at all my injuries. Maurice Alexander, Jason Kroom, Harrison Phillips, Mike Love, Lee Adrian Waddle. And look at there. Lorenzo Alexander just fractured his foot in the first week of the preseason. My star linebacker. So that's a good that's a good uh That's a good start. Good start, guys. Oh my gosh, man! Well, that sucks, guys. <laughs> May need to go get me a linebacker now. He's out six weeks, and he's like 13 years pro, so he's gonna probably retire soon, anyways. Catching traffic, Cole Beasley. I need you to. So let's go, man. Um, we're 0 and 2 in the preseason. We're not going to play preseason. I'll get in a game, my dog. Chill out, dude. Um, we'll get a. Uh, get some more XP for the boys. 
Let's see. Say so. We actually get us a win against the Lions. So we're sorry, I had to turn my mic off for a minute. My dog was tripping. Ike Bodinger, he's moved up to a 52. Okay, Ike, let's go. We're just going to advance this week. Now we'll be able to, we won't have to cut any players because we're already down there. Set season goal. We'll give us. We'll say we'll win seven this year in first year. Um. Dion Dawkins, left tackle, is going to get to move up to a seventy-eight. Um. So let's see. We were one and three in preseason, which that really doesn't matter, honestly. Um. I may need to go look though to see about a linebacker with that with my linebacker being hurt and that being the main guy I'm gonna use. Let me see if there's anybody. I got another injury too, so that's awesome. Look how many injuries we have, guys. Who who just got hurt? I was Oh, Jerry Hughes. Dislocated his knee. Three weeks. Oh man. All right, well, our defense was good. Um, so, let's let's sign Shane Ray. We'll sign him for now and see what happens. He's a 72. That'll be fine, just for some depth at linebacker. Um, because, well, now i got to cut somebody. Because we got the injury to our main guy. Um so our linebacking core now is going to be. See, this has got to change. No, damn it! I hate, I hate doing it like this. that we're gonna go to the depth chart here so now we're looking at left outside linebackers Milano to 79 Mike linebackers Tremaine Edmonds right outside linebacker is gonna be Shaq Lawson oh he starts in he's starting in that's right so we'll let Shane Ray start there so he'll be that guy that I just picked up he'll be starting for me um Give me one second, man. I want to take my dog out. Give me one second.
superstars changed addresses. There's a whole lot to talk about in the NFL. In all right, guys, my bad. Had to let the dog out. Perfect timing, though. Look here. So here we go, man. We're going to uh, see how we play with the Buffalo Bills. It may be terrible. So let's see. Here we, they run a, they're running a four-man. So this is going to be different than what I'm used to. They run a four-man front. There's Le'Veon, first play of the game. And Le'Veon Bell doesn't get much at all. There you see our injuries. Lorenzo Hughes and or Lorenzo Alexander and Jerry Hughes are out um, since we started, since we simmed. But we've already got a slew of guys that are, that are already pre-existing. That's an easy...
Is anybody there? Can anybody hear me? Can anybody hear me? I don't know what's going on with my microphone. It just went out. I was talking and I was like, I couldn't hear. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if anybody can hear me or not, but we're winning 3 nothing. Josh Allen's terrible, but hey, we're winning 3 nothing. So that's what matters, right? See, it's going to take me a few games to get used to the Bills, man. Look at that blitzing son of a biscuit eater. Johnson with the sack. That's two sacks for the D-back there. That's, that's our only two sacks we've got. So, uh, let's see. Uh, third down and 12. Darnold to throw it, damn it. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me, sir? Forget it. Our all our all pro defensive backs run into each other there. Get the fuck out of here, man. Daniel Brown. Could you have a blander name? John Brown, I guess, which is on my team. So who am I talking? So it's seven three here. Um have to figure something out. Oh single Terry, nothing doing. Four carries, six yards for single Terry so far. So I don't know if anybody can hear me. The chat's not updating. I, I don't I don't know. What's up, Chris? I do see the yours. I don't know when you did that, but I see it. Singletary now with 12 yards. So uh, these first couple of games are going to be me getting down just the, you know, the, the team, the playbook, the players, because I never play with Buffalo Bills. I never play with Josh Allen. Um... Allen's going to go out, but we're not going to let Jamal Adams, uh, we're not going to let Adams knock us in the next week. So Josh Allen there showing the, the Jets there. He showed the Jets his Jets. <laughs> Stop. Um, so, yeah. Is dude on here anymore, William? Uh, you told me to block him. I blocked him. He was a troll and a half, wasn't he? No, why did you, did you see Brown? Back up. I, I switched to him, and he he backed up and let the guy get position on him. Fuck out of here with that bullshit, Sharif. Well, there's our first turnovers as a Buffalo Bills team, and Le'Veon Bell with a Mack truck hole to drive, to drive through there. It's the first down. We're probably going to be simming some here. I may sim a quarter. So I don't know. This is going to be more laid back. I'm just going to try to do more. And look, I mean, these holes are just ridiculous. Okay, guys, let's go. Let's go defense. <laughs> See, we'll be doing man blitz out of this one, but it's out of a four-man front. That's the Buffalo's defense. So we're going to have to get used to that four-man front, which means I'm going to need two solid defensive tackles instead of just one, which I'm not used to doing. I'm used to just running three-man. I mean, I could, but. I don't. I want to use the, the off. You know, the I want to use the uh, the playbook that they got. I want to keep their playbooks. Look at there! Trey Davius White's gonna take it back for six, baby. The best player on the squizod, and there's a reason for that. Give him six. My boy Trey Davius White picks off the pass that was going in the flats. I mean, it was just like taking candy from a baby. He was gone fishing. Let's go. So the Buffalo Bills regained the lead 10-7 after the Trey Davius White pick six. And just like that, man, we get the interception back and then some. So we'll probably have to rely on Trey Davius White a lot this year. He's got that X factor going. What do y'all think of the Bills so far, man? I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. And, oh, phone just dropped on the floor. That's always fun. Hoping that it doesn't just crack. Uh, 
And just, oh my God, dude. Seriously? <sighs> Gotta come out of that man blitz. Jets come right back. And they regain the lead 14 to 10 now. So just like that, two plays, they go 75 yards. Tavecchio with the extra point there. So, uh, Demarius Thomas, man. Just like that. Well, all right, Allen, let's see what you got, man. Uh, Frank Gore's in the ballgame now. They got, we're going to come out of this play. They got six men in the box here. And I don't know what he was trying to, why didn't he catch that ball? Two for five with an interception. Josh Allen, not the best stats you've seen. But uh, we're going to see how he can recoup here. There we go. Nice comeback route to Foster. He gets rocked by Allen Fumbles, but thank goodness the veteran Frank Gore had the peace of mind to pick it up and prevent the turnover. Thank you, Frank. We'll probably lose Frank Gore after this year is over with, if I had to guess. And just nothing doing in the run game, man. Um, so it's second down and eight. And uh, there we go. Single Terry gets a hole on that side. Jukes his way to a nice gainer. It's up to 39 yards on six carries. So that's dope, man. Single Terry. He's going to be a guy we can building up, man. You know, we've got the veteran Gore, and him can do a nice two-man two -man game there. Um, picks up another nine there on first down. They're pretty stacked here. We're going to try it. They may, they may run us. Another fumble. Adams hit stick fumbles me again. This time we don't pick it up. Oh, shit. Hate playing the Jets, man. Well, that sucked, man. I may just play the first half, man. I think me and Biggs are supposed to play. Well, I may have some time. Let's we'll see how it goes. Let's let's just let's fill this out, man. Let's. I don't know if I'm going to run a four-man, the man blitz like I do with the Titans. For one, I don't have the linebackers that I have with the Titans, and two, it's four-man. Oh, pick, Wallace. That's going to be a hold. We're going to decline that, man. We're going to take this interception. So a second interception for the Buffalo defense. Tom Compton, we're going to decline that. So we're just trading turnovers here. In the first half, we have a fumble and an interception. They have two interceptions. Frank Gore just can't outrun the linebacker. And our run game is pretty rough, uh, to say the least. Mic issues are annoying me badly. Still second down. Let's go, man. Second and 17. We're gonna switch. I gotta, I gotta test out Josh Allen's arm at some point, man. 
There's just nobody open. We're going to do it, dump it off to Singletary there. Nice little pickup. Uh, picks up some of the, the yards we got penalized. Allen's 4 of 6 for 46 yards and an interception. Nothing to write home about, to say the least. But we're not really in four. We're in four down territory right here. I mean, there's just nowhere to go. I don't think Hauschka has that kind of leg. We could test it, though. I mean, it is the first game. Winds are eight miles an hour blowing against us and blowing. Well, you couldn't kick it any harder, but there's just not enough leg behind it. Um, I would have hit that if the wind wasn't blowing eight miles towards me. So we're just testing out the leg of Halshka. He's got he's got that he's got that leg though. If I wouldn't have took the sack, we'd have made that. So yeah, what a deal. Milano, nice stop on Le'Veon Bell right in the hole there. We're holding him relatively in check. We're just going to have to try to figure out who our guys are going to be. There's Poyer coming up to make the stop after a pickup of two. Bell, 10 carries, 25 yards. Third down and nine for Sam Darnold here. 11 rush plays, 9 passing plays. Wallace did a nice job of holding him up. And then we finish him off there, 6 of 10, 202. Two touchdowns, two interceptions. Of course, both touchdown passes have been long, ridiculous touchdowns. Um, but we hold them out, so we're going to be close to the two-minute warning after this play. And we've got a chance to do a little two-minute drill. Try to get some points going into the half, man, to take the lead. We've got all three of our timeouts, and we've actually got the two-minute warning. So Josh Allen's going to have to going to have to show me something here, Bubba. Let's go. There's nobody open. We're just going to tuck it again with Allen. Picks up eight, gets out of bounds. We're going to get another play before the two-minute warning. Oh, never mind. They don't. Here we go. So at the two-minute warning, we're down 14 to 10. We don't have an offensive touchdown. Well, that was a touchdown that we ran back on an interception. But we're going to figure it out, man. There's just not anybody open, really, man. I don't know what that was, but I'm kind of glad he didn't catch it. Um, third down and two. I may switch this to a Frank Gore dollar just to get the first down, but... No, we're just going to draw for the first down here. And more with Josh Allen, 13-yard scamper. So he's got some legs. Let's go. We're going to go no huddle here. Allen, oh, another drop. Y'all aren't helping him, man. That was a good throw. And see, with this playbook, I mean, I don't know, you know, I don't know what their, what their go-to hitter plays are, so... He's kind of got to figure it out. Trial and error. Nice! John Brown. So Josh Allen, the blitz was coming, and we made a nice little crossing pattern there. John Brown gets his first catch, I believe, and it's a first and ten. We're getting close to oh, He's got two catches today. We're going to try to hit Croft on this end route here if I can get the time, but they're coming at it again. Oh, no! See, Josh Allen can't throw under pressure. That was a terrible throw. Uh, I don't really want to throw anywhere near Adams. Uh, it'd be nice to get Croft going. There we go. They're coming with them blitzes, man. And Croft, nice job there, big gainer. 27 yards to Croft. We're going to go no huddle again, man. We're not even going to have to burn into these timeouts just yet. We're going to try to hit uh, John Brown coming across the middle. Just nobody open, man. We're just going to throw it out of bounds and just... Start over here. Get us a little time. Let's go. Second down in 10. Josh Allen's 
Gonna hit his tight end. That's Croft right on that line. I don't know if he got the first. Of course he didn't. Third down and in inches. We're gonna try to go with Roberts right here across the middle here. They're gonna be coming with the heat. And I'm sacked. Ha! Ah. That running wouldn't have worked because they had everybody on the line, man. They were coming at me. They were coming at me. Hauschka's gonna knock this field goal in. And we're gonna go into the half, well, hopefully. Only down a point. Yarder, so we get something out of that drive. Josh Allen's showing me something, though, man. I, I can work with what Josh Allen's got. So they're probably just going to let this run out and uh, go into the half with a lead of one point. So pretty solid first half. Poyer makes the stop on Le'Veon. And uh, I'm not mad at the fellas. Like I said, this is my first game with the Bills. Um, I guess the chat's just not working. I don't know what's going on. This PlayStation shit's getting on my nerves, man. Let's see if it shows anybody on here. No, it's not showing. Maybe there's not any people talking. It's fine if there's not. And we get ball, man. I forgot about that. So that's awesome that we got those points when we did. Roberts going to take this and nice return there from Roberts up to the 32. So now that we've got, we don't have to worry about time being an issue. We're going to get back to the, try to get back to this running game with Singletary. He had a solid first half. I think he had 40 yards rushing, something like that. Most of it was on one run. There we go. He's up to nine carries, 53 yards. I'd like to try to be a run team first, honestly, with Josh Allen. He's a 77, but he's still young, and his, his throw under pressure is not good. So this throw is going to be terrible. I already knew it. Ugh. Adams swats it away from Singletary. Actually, it wasn't a terrible throw, but I knew when I threw it that Singletary was going to fuck it up. Third down and seven here. Here comes the blitz again. Josh Allen hooks up with Cole Beasley. Nice job, 14-yard strike. Allen's back to 50% at 8 of 16. That's Beasley's first catch of the season. It's going to be a lot more where those come from, hopefully. 15-yard pickup there. First and ten. We're going to do the draw. We're going to the zone play with Frank Gore. That's a good gain, a nine. So starting out the drive pretty good. Single Terry picks up seven. There goes one of my Xbox controllers. First and 10, though. We're making things happen here. Trying to get a drive put together to where we can. Um... Nice job picking up the blocks. Single Terry again. He's having a good first or second half here. Here comes the. Third down and seven.
Hooks that up with um, First and ten, here we go. Oh, Frank Gore, nice job uh, fiending off a tackle. Here we go, man. Second down and six. Ah, that's going to be a bad throw. Beasley makes the catch, though. Give him six. And the Titans. Not, we're not the Titans. So you should stay in the Titans. The Buffalo Bills, man. Josh Allen with his first touchdown pass of the season. And um, big play there. What a drive, man. Almost five minutes off the clock. We're going to make the catch. Nice job. Hook up with the tight end for the two-pointer there with Smith. And it's 21-14 there, uh, Lee Smith. I can't hear. Every time I say that name, I think of the Cardinals relief pitcher. But, um. And here we go, man. Chase Edmonds. I'm liking the Bills, man. I'm liking it so far, guys. Nothing doing. They try that little short pass again. That's considered a run play because it's backwards. Crowder, Jamison Crowder, loses two. Poyer with another stop. It's his fourth stop of the game. Third down and nine. Here's a big play for the defense. We've got a one-score lead. Let's try to keep it that way, fellas. Just see, there's just too much time. Way too much time in the pocket to throw the ball, man. Sam Darnold's going to kill us every time. Le'Veon gets the catch. That's a first down. But did, until I figure out what's, what's going to work. brother just brought food. I may just simulate, man. I ain't trying to eat no cold food playing on Tom Bob. My brother went and picked up some Bojangles. Let's go, man. Bumble, pick it up. Let's take it to the house, fellas. Oh, pick it up, dude. Ah. See, Darnold, you pressure Sam Darnold, he's going to mess up, dude. He's going to mess up. That's what he does, man. 21-14, Bills force a third turnover. And there's Singletary. We're going to try to power it up with him. 12 totes for 68 yards for Devin Singletary, who's going to try to be our franchise running back, man. Hopefully, ooh, i got to turn the injuries down to 20. That's probably why people keep getting hurt, too. There's nothing doing. Lee Smith gets guarded well. 10-19 for Josh Allen so far. Middle of the field is wide open, son. Let's go. We're just going to tuck this one and go for the – we're going to run for it here. Josh Allen, plenty of room. Huge gain, 25 yards. And Josh Allen's rush for 51 yards, guys. It's not something I was expecting to see on the stat sheet here. Um, oh, there's Frank Gore. He gets, he gets for the first down there. 13-yard run for Frank Gore. We're 130 yards rushing collectively between Gore, Singletary, and Allen. So, hey, we're going to get it one way or the other, looks like. First and goal, man. We got a chance here to uh, uh, yard for Singletary there. Second down and goal.
I'm gonna try to hand a Gore. He's gonna get in. Give him six. Frank Gore with the Russian touchdown, the veteran who may be in his last season. Um, it's hard to tell. I want to say Frank Gore either leaves after the first or second year on here. We go seven plays, 49 yards after the turnover to gain the lead, 28-14. We're going to simulate this drive. I'm trying to get through this game, man. Um, and they miss a field goal from 58 yards. So, boom. This will be a little bit of a mixture of everything. Simmons and, and I'm going to play a lot of them. But single Terry there. He's starting to kind of take over now. 75 yards on 14 carries here. And uh, the Jets find themselves down two scores and us having the ball. And there's Singletary. Lucked out there. They came flying through. But Singletary bounced off a couple of, of offensive linemen and gets that first. We're going to dump it underneath to Singletary there. Makes a catch there. That's going to be for seven. So Josh Allen, 12 of 21 for a buck 57, a touchdown and interception. He's ran for 50 yards as well, so 200 yards of offense. Um, not too bad in my first game with him. Frank Gore refuses to go down on the first time. Nine carries, 28 yards. Um, third down in inches, though. We're going to rely on the, on the young buck, man. Singletary. Let's see we got it. Oh, yeah. Easy peasy there. Another seven. He's up to 91 yards of rushing. And the Titans. Damn it. I keep saying Titans. Come on, Foster. Come on, Foster. Oh, I knew the linebacker was playing it the whole time. Second down and ten. We're just gonna run. We're gonna run up the middle here and try to run some more time off the clock. If I get a if I get a field goal here, that makes it three scores. So, but Singletary says, "Look, we're gonna try to get six. He's over the hundred yard mark, but we're still at third and inches. Damn it! Seven minute mark, and here we go. Josh Allen's gonna hand off." Single Terry again. Six more yards, and we are really starting to take a toll on this Jets defense. Uh, they've been out on the field the majority of this entire half. We forced the turnover early on on their first drive, and the second drive that we simulated, they missed a field goal. So, oh, he caught it, and they dropped, they knocked it out of his hands. Uh, second down and goal. We're going to hand off to Frankie G again, baby. Up the middle. Oh, did you see that lame stuff? They tried to keep my boy from getting in the end zone. But get him six. Frank Gore with his second rushing touchdown of the game. And the Buffalo Bills are taking a 35-14 lead over the Jets. It has been all us in the second half, man. 21 unanswered. We're going to simulate their possession again. And uh, try to get this game knocked out. They'll probably end up letting them score on this one. And, uh no, they turn it over on downs. Okay, my defense ain't playing, man. Adams comes through like a man possessed. Frank Gore, 11 carries, only 33 yards, but he has two rushing touchdowns. So he's been our goal line fella here, man. Down to the five-minute mark. Allen, they're going to play a little play action. We're just going to tuck it and run it, man. I don't want to risk throwing a pick. Josh Allen, another – he's got 69 yards rushing. Running a lot of deep routes, and that that frees up Josh Allen to get some get some running. And uh, we're going to hand off to Dev here. Oh, he jukes out. Jukes out uh, Adams there. What a play by Singletary. We got to get him in the end zone, man. That's three times we've got him down there close. They're going to bring everybody. We're going to try to hit Cole Beasley here. Touchdown, Bills. Cole Beasley. His second. Now, oh, has he got a. 
His second touchdown, yeah. So we're now we're starting to run away with 28 nothing in the third in the second half, and they just already run three and then punt it, man. Our defense is playing lockdown D here in the second quarter, second half. I mean, we're just gonna run clock here and try to get this game out the way here. Single Terry again, five more. He's up to 124 yards on 20 carries. Great game for Singletary. Now Frank Gore back in the contest. 36 rushing plays, only 24 passing plays. That's how I would like for every game to be with the Bills. 70 yards rushing for Josh Allen. 40 yards rushing for Gore, but he's got two rushing touchdowns. We'll play action here. Allen will throw that one out of bounds on third and one. We're going to go for it. I mean, do they have the same play? They do. Come on, Dev. They, they're, they're stacked on this line, Dev. You better get this. Oh, no, they got me. So here we go, man. First and 10. Let's see if we can keep him out of the end zone. Let's go simulate. Get this game over with so I can get my Madden game ready for the against Bigs and the Titans franchise here. So we're gonna get we're gonna come away with our first win. They get him a field goal. We're just gonna simulate to the end of this one. And there you go, man. The Buffalo Bills. 42-17 winners over the Jets on the road in our first game against them. That's going to be a good uh, thumbnail. So the Buffalo Bills, man, they looked good. They looked good. Had seven, two interceptions, a forced fumble, um, 143 yards passing, 237 yards rushing. So we did the damn thing, man. I'm excited about that one. And um, we're going to move to 1-0. And, oh. and uh, let's see. Get all of our goals. First career win. Going to get to move some players up. It was a very, very positive first week for the Buffalo Bills, man. Injury, uh, plagued by injuries like we are, we still go on the road and beat the Jets, man. I think this is going to be a fun franchise, man. I'm glad that y'all had me pick the Bills. It's a, it's a team that I hadn't really used. And they got some good pieces, you know, that you can build off of. And we'll see what happens, man. But we get that win. We're going to. So now we've got it. Week two will be the next episode. Um, we're not going to play any of these guys. I don't want to risk getting anybody hurt. So we're going to start our backups and just not even risk it. But I appreciate everybody tuning in, man. Give us, give me about 15, 20 minutes, and we will be playing. Me and Biggs will be playing in week one of the eighth year of this shoe shoe football league. So I appreciate y'all, man.